Hey everyone, Max from One Up Wonders here, and welcome to my trophy and achievement guide for the longest road on earth. The game is very chilled out and takes about 90 minutes to complete, so it won't take too long at all. With that, let's jump into the game. Once we enter the game, we'll be in a short scene to begin with. Objects like this light might not be needed, but it's good to interact with things along the way. In the next room, interact with the sink twice and a cutscene will begin. Simply proceed by pressing the interaction button. Once the cutscene is over, hop out of bed and open the curtains by walking around the side of the bed. Now we can head into the bathroom and use the sink. Once you've done that, go downstairs and make yourself some coffee. Grab the pot from the shelf and then place it on the stove. Grab the darker object and interact with the pot. Then interact with the pot once it boils to proceed. Through your hands, 
Once we're in the diner, use the jukebox. Now head to the left and then back to the right to serve the first customer. Pick up the plate from the left side area and take it to them. Repeat this with the second customer and you'll earn the work at the diner trophy or achievement. Now simply ride the bike by holding the action button. Once you reach the end you'll earn the ride your bike trophy or achievement.
exit the shower. Now interact with the fridge and sit in the next room. Now we can collect the shells on the beach. Hang up three items of laundry to proceed. Head up to the attic and you'll want to use the typewriter up there to type a letter of some sort and then also grab a suitcase on the left hand side as well. Now we can board the train and interact with everything we can here to allow the game to proceed and for the first chapter to end.
Now we're in chapter 2, interact with the door to flip the open sign around. Now head to the right and interact with the piano. Now we're on the train, press square when prompted to do so and head to the train door when you're able to.
Now we can interact with the people outside the club. Once you're inside, walk to the piano and play it to get the trophy or achievement. Now walk to the right until the square prompt appears on screen. Walk to the left and then right when the pigeon points. Once you're out of the lift, head to the piano and tap the square prompts and hold triangle button to proceed.
After waiting in line and shuffling forward, you want to head to your locker and then head left to the main door. Once you're in the machine room, go to your place on the line and follow the prompts until the trophy or achievement unlocks. Interact with the free tables in the apartment just in case. I don't think it's needed though. Exit the apartment and head downstairs. Now head left to the train station and interact with the train until the end of the chapter. Thank you. 
Now we are in chapter 3. Once we arrive at work, go into the building and take a seat at your desk. Now we need to do sit-ups by holding the X or triangle button 
depending on the angle we're viewing from. Once the trophy or achievement unlocks, you can stand up and exit the room. Now head up the many flights of stairs and head to the front of the boat. Once you've finished interacting with the paperwork, head to the left and use the water machine. Next, look out the window on the right. i 
pick up the mop and mop all six dirt piles that are in this area. Now we can put the mop back to unlock the trophy or achievement. Head through the double doors and grab yourself some lunch. The choices don't matter here. Sit down as both characters and eat until you're finished. Now do a phone call between the two characters. As the bird go to the cogged machine and then up to the deck after you're finished. Oh 
as the bear go to the docks and meet the two characters in the same place. Then we can end the chapter by walking the bird character to the bus stop.
Once we're in chapter 4, head to the right and serve the customer. Escape the cot and head left out of the bedroom. Now get caught by mum twice for the attempt to appear. Go into the tent and fight with toys until the trophy or achievement pops. Thank you. 
Switch the lights on and off until your mum comes in. Scare mum in the bathroom afterwards by going out of your bedroom and into the second door on the left. Falling off the side is very easy too, simply press square until you intentionally fall off. Next, sit at your bedroom desk and draw. Hold down the action button for each line being drawn. Then you'll need to show your drawing to the teacher in the school building for the achievement or trophy. This scene where we have to play in the snow and avoid obstacles is very easy and fun as well. Simply use the action button to jump or use the cardboard box sleigh and you'll get the trophy or achievement. Make it again. 
Next, turn on the TV until you see the shopping mall displayed on screen. Go through the mall and meet your mum at the end to get the trophy or achievement. Climbing the hill is one of the last scenes in the game, so it's practically unmissable, but you can't stray too far from your dad, so you do need to keep within a certain distance. But once you reach the top of the hill, the trophy or achievement is yours. Yeah. 
Before we finish the game, there are some small scenes which we have to do, but they're mostly button prompts, so simply follow along until the end of the game, and you'll get the Chapter 4 trophy or achievement, as well as the Platinum trophy if you're playing on PlayStation. Thank you for checking out my video, I hope you found it helpful, as I would appreciate a like and subscribing if you haven't already, and don't forget to consider checking out some of my other videos. Until next time, I'm Max and this is One of Wonders, thanks again and have a great day.
Thank you.